Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, President Ruto is planning to have a four days high level meeting to review his progress of the first 100 days in office, to check where they are getting wrong and where they are getting it right, either improve or wrong, apply a new strategy going forward. In as much as the plan, the other thing that is emerging in social media and mainstream media is that there is also a push again both in Azimio and Kenya Kwanza leaders to impeach the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa. In the beginning it was Azimio which was pushing for this to tame Gashagwa but now it is emerging that even the Kenya Kwanza side members of parliament are feeling that they have a rogue deputy president in the office. So, the issue behind here is that the office of the deputy president and the office of the president is an office that needs to show unity in this country. Instead, we have seen Gandhi Rashagwa trying to draw a division in the country. As an individual, instead of appealing through his office to be a center of unity in this country, instead, he is also drawing a line to be a leader of a specific region or tribe in the country. And that's why people are saying we have a wrong person in the office. Every time that man opens his mouth, you wonder whether he's the, vice pre the deputy president of Kenya or he's the deputy president of the Kikuyu Republic. In fact, at some point, we will bring a motion, I will bring a motion in Parliament to impeach you, discuss your conduct and impeach you. So it is clear, Gashagwa is bringing an image of a tribal leader, but not a deputy president. And this is one of the worst leaders we have in the office for the first time. In as much William Ruto was tribal, he never came out this much open to show publicly. But Gashagwa has reasons why he's doing so. Secondly, again, those who are pushing for impeachment of Gashagwa, especially from, from the Kenya Kwanda side, it might not be necessarily an impeachment they are looking for. And of course, it might be also Ruto behind this move with one reason. Before we go deep into that, Yes, a quick request for those who are watching and you're not, you're not, not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. Thank you so much and again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. Now, when all these things are happening, number one, Regatta Gashagwa has taken a break. He went for vacation. He's, back, he's not yet back into public uh, uh, appearance in, in media, in the press, we have to see him. But again, at the same time, we have seen him selling Dabadi, busy representing William Samuel Ruto, somewhere in Brazil, I think there was an inauguration of the their president, and he went there to represent the president. We know very well that Anyway, the president will miss the first person who will represent the president. It is his deputy. But now, we have a man whom Ruto, Ruto referred to as the third in command after his deputy, Gadi Gashagwa, Musalia Mdavadi. So, definitely, what is trying to emerge here is that Mdavadi, with his long experience in government, he's cutting a figure of a national leader. But together, Gashagwa is cutting a figure of a man who is trying to appeal to his tribe to become a kingpin. That is the main reason now. Gashagwa quickly rushed to become a deputy president, cutters of William Samuel Ruto. Now, from a DO, a one-term member of parliament, now a deputy president. He's a man who has not yet built his support from his backyard. Now he is struggling to build his support, rally people behind him in his backyard. 
ni kama nyumba ambayo ilijengwa kwa mchanga. Not on a rock, but a house built on sand. So it can quickly be destroyed. Because of this, that's why he is now struggling to build his support from Mount Kenya. That's why everything will be our people, the Gamer people, the Kikuyu. What he forget is that he is even embarrassing a whole community. He is also even exposing a whole community by trying to do that. So, the reason also is that, again, there are other leaders like Mother Karua, Peter Kenneth, who are better off. Even Dindi Nyoro, who is more young, they can never go to an extent of reducing the deputy president office to a gamer office or to fighting for one community. Because of this, he is actually in fight with these people to capture the Kikuyu. He won't try and capture Kikuyu. Because of this, Ruto is learning that Kashago will be in a campaign mode in the next five years. So, he's trying to use the Kenya Kwanza members of parliament to try and tell or threaten Kashago so that he will toe the line and understand that he, his office is an office which needs to be a national figure. But not reducing that office to a Kikuyu or a Gema office. And because of this, that's why he's trying now to use Musaliam Dawadi to represent him in some of the international events. So that's also a message he's sending to Rigathe de Shagwa. And now, because of what Uhuru, Ruto did to Uhuru Kenyatta, the Shagwa might be repeating the same. And because the Shagwa is repeating the same, Ruto might be borrowing a leave from Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. Because Uhuru created a presidency by elevating the former interior CS, uh, Fred Matiang. Matiang served as the uh, supervisor of the cabinet to some level without even mentioning. And of course, through an executive order, Matiang became a super CS to a level of Musani Mudabadi as of now. And because of this, Ruto is going to use Mudabadi exactly how Uhuru was using Matian. So silently, he is replacing Rikata Gashagwa with Musalia Mudabadi, who can cut a national figure and work for him. And then let Gashagwa do his thing. <laughs> That's another thing that Gashagwa should be very careful about. Because now going forward, it's like Musalia Mudabadi will be representing Ruto in many key areas and then Kashaka will be allowed to play his politics if he will not tow the line. Because you know it is very funny to find people like Kipchumpa Munukubain who are so much close to their tribe talking about the Rift Valley people. They are trying to cut a figure, <laughs> a national figure as of now. But the person in the high office, the guy the Kashaka, has refused to tow that line. He is still in the campaign mode. He wants to tell people how bad Raila Odinga is. He wants to tell people how bad Uhuru Kenyatta was. He wants to tell people how they should disassociate themselves with the opposition. He still wants to use abusive language towards those in Azmiu. He totally fails completely. So, Ruto have no plan to impeach the Shagwa. But the Azimia members of parliament, by coming out clear to tell Gashagwa this, is just a threat. To make Gashagwa to change or learn that no one is supporting what he's doing, and again to tell him that they can easily replace him with another person going forward. So that's the situation as of now in Kenya Kwanzaa. So we'll wait and see how far this one can go. And see also how Gashaba is going to react in this. And it might not take more than a year to have a split between William Ruto and Rigathe Gashaba because Gashaba wants to focus on running the gamer behind him. But Ruto is focusing on trying to create a space for himself and build his own legacy. 
What he wanted to become, he has already become. Everyone would want to become a president and a politician. Ruto has already achieved that. Besides achieving this, the next issue is that now building the legacy. The same way Uhuru Kenyatta did. Building your legacy will need people who will help you here and there. And because of that, those who are on your way to block you from building your legacy, you have to kick them out of your way so that you have people who will realign themselves with your manifesto and help you to build that legacy. So the only stumbling block in the way of William Ruto, it is Gashago. Many people knew, knows Uhuru, William Ruto as a tribal person. He would want to try and create that perception that he's not a tribal leader. He would want to create an image of a national leader to build a way for his children in the future in case if they would want to inherit his support. Because of this, he has to appeal to the entire nation. But Gashagwa is pulling him back. That's why it's all about our people. And that is what informs people to talk about impeachment of Rigazi Shagwa. And indeed, for the first time, we have the most embarrassing deputy president in the Republic of Kenya. A man who is embarrassing William Ruto, he's embarrassing the Kikuyu and the Gamer at large, and again, embarrassing the entire country.